today we are going to see the topic of the PLL applications so in the last class we have discussed about the block diagram of the PLL so in that basic block diagram it consists of the phase detector that low pass filter and error amplifier and then voltage controlled oscillator so these four blocks plays a major role in the uh, phase lock loop applications so coming to that point uh, the output of that uh, PLL is to be taken as the output as either a voltage output or as the frequency output so there we apply an input signal as Vs and the output as the V0 so in case of the frequency we apply Fs as the input signal and F0 as the output signal so when we consider the voltage as the output then where these kind of PLL applications to be used so in case of this frequency discriminator application so that uh, the thing the frequency discriminator application the voltage output is nothing but your V0 that is the output voltage controlled voltage VCO from that uh, controlled voltage it produces the VCO output as the V output as V0 with the help of that controlled voltage which is proportional to the frequency fs minus f0 because we are eliminating that fs plus f0 factor because of that uh, low pass uh, high frequency component that to be removed with the help of low pass filter so here it is vs is proportional to that fs minus f0 if there is a change in the frequency it ultimately reflects in the voltage so these kind of applications will comes under that frequency discriminator so coming to that um, second one as the frequency output f0 so these kind of outputs can be applied in case of that signal conditioning signal conditioning then frequency synthesis and the clock recovery applications coming to that signal conditioning points there we can do the scaling factors multiplication of the signals we have studied in the sensors and transducers as like isolations grounding technique these things are to be followed under the signal conditioning process so this pll applications were applied for this uh, four kind of uh, applications like frequency multiplication and division frequency translation is nothing but a shifting operation am detection fm demodulation and one more called frequency shifting shift keying demodulation technique so these are the applications relevant to that pll so the those four building blocks of that pll are to be applied in these applications so first thing the frequency multiplication bar division so in that condition we are going to enhance our signal with uh, some scaling factor n that to be multiplied with the already existing input frequency uh, output frequencies and the input frequencies then we are going to divide with n that is the concept behind this frequency oscillation the same block diagram we have the phase comparator the input uh, is a frequency signal fs is applied to that phase comparator this phase comparator compares that input signal fs and earlier it was like output signal from that vco as f0 so this is the concept yeah fs and f0 to be compared in the basic of PLL so these things we have fs plus f0 and fs minus f0 that to be passed to that low pass filter only the difference in that signal to be passed to that amplifier that will be uh, controlled with the help of that controlled voltage to make your fs should be equal to f0 that is your locked condition so now in this frequency multiplication for division concept we have included these four building block. apart from that we have included a one more block called frequency division by multiplication so here i have drawn only for the division and from this i have taken f naught as nfs this is for the concept of multiplication that's the thing i have written here divide by n network this is inserted between your phase comparator 
phase comparator and the voltage controlled oscillation. So coming to that locked state, as I mentioned this locked state, we have to make my FS, that input signal should be equal to that output frequency signal. For that, I have to control my voltage. When it gets equal, this condition we call it as a locked range. So in this condition, my output should be equal to that input signal. In that condition, I am going to multiply with some factor that is my f naught is multiplied with n which is with that input signal so selecting a proper scaling factor that is we represented in n so in case of division so this division concept applies here that multiplication we are going to multiply with that input signal to produce a output frequency signal in that input signal i can use a square waveform or a pulse waveform to be passed. These square waveform or the pulse waveform as the input signal to be passed and proceeded with the phase comparator, then low pass circuit, voltage controlled oscillator, then coming to the uh, multiplication frequency factor or the division network, it should uh, input signal has rich in harmonic. So this rich in harmonic state it is connected without a frequency divider consider that the input signal it will have a rich harmonics and it goes to that n harmonic input signal so in that condition we don't have this network in case if we have the network with the order of mth harmonic in that condition I can write my division expression as F0 is equal to Fs divided by M. That is the expression I have written. Square wave pulse strain or rich in harmonics which is connected to the nth harmonic input signal without connecting any frequency divider. Once you connect the frequency divider and assume we have Mth harmonic inputs then condition we can write that expression f naught is equal to fs by m this is the concept behind the frequency multiplication by division concept coming to that frequency translation so in that frequency translation is nothing but you have a shift in your frequency so here as such we the dotted red lines represents you have a phase comparator circuit low pass filter amplifier and the vco this is your typical block diagram of your phase lock loop below uh, 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 to this pll we have added two factors like multiplier and the low pass filter so look at here you have an input frequency signal fs that is to be Pass to that multiplier. This multiplier is again at surface detector or an comparator. It is passed from the output from this is given as F0 that is to be multiplied. This multiplier basically produces an output of uh, sum and difference Fs plus F0 and Fs minus f naught or f naught minus f based on the frequency higher frequencies so here i can return my answer as fs plus or minus f naught so this is sum and difference representation that is to be passed to that low pass filter so it rejects the high frequency and it allows only the low frequency as fs minus f naught to that phase comparator now we are entering into the typical pll this was the application we have included an external uh, block as multiplier and the low pass filter now earlier here we pass that fs as the input frequency signal here i am passing fs minus f naught so in this condition i am going to use a passing the signals to the comparator so that comparator it compares with the two frequency signals so here i am going to use that offset frequency f1 or i can call it as a translational frequency f1 
So, this f s minus f naught is the input signal that is to be con compared with the offset frequency f n. So, in that condition again the high frequency are to be removed only the low frequency filters low frequency signals are to be used that is to be amplified and based on that control voltage we make that VCO output as the F naught. So, in that condition I will be getting my F naught as that F naught is equal to F s plus F 1 as that output. So, this is to be again passed to that multiplier. The same concept I have written shifting the frequency of an oscillator by a small factor that multiplier and the low pass filter are connected externally. This is the typical block we have connected multiplier and the low pass filter externally. So, this multiplier is the mixture of your F s and F naught. So, it produces F s and F naught sum and the difference. So, this sum F s plus F naught F s minus F naught. So, this F naught minus F s. So, I instead from this expression I have to write my F. This is like offset frequency there will be some minor values of frequencies in hertz. So, I am going to find that F naught F 1. So, I can write my expression as F naught minus F s. That is the thing I have written. The third topic is AM detection. So, it is like a amplitude modulation then FM is the frequency modulation. So, here the entire block of PLL comes here then we have an input signal that is an amplitude modulation input signal that signal is shifted with the phase shift at 90 degree then we are going to pass to that multiplier. This multiplier is nothing but your phase uh, comparator or the phase detector circuit. Then it is passed to that low pass filter. Only the low pass filter frequency signals are taken as the demodulated output. Then here we have used the VCO. For this comparator we have you compared two frequencies or the two voltages. So, that is the concept. So, AM input. So, here the PLL will be in the locked condition. So, whenever and I am talking about that locked condition my input should be equal to that voltage controlled output. So, the PLL is locked to the carrier frequency of the incoming AM signal. So, here an incoming signal is passed to that uh, multiplier via the phase 90 degree. So, here we pass a signal that will be shifted 90 degree and we get some voltage signals. Similarly, we uh, pass to that PLL, we get an output as VCO. This is again shifted with out of phase with 90 degree because this is in phase with 90 degree to make both the thing in phase. See for example, if I start with 0 degree, then it starts with a 90 degree. So, the same thing output to be compared with either it is from 90, minus 90 or plus 90, right? So, it should be like a starting with 90. So, 0th question, it has some maximum amplitude voltage at that. So, those things to be compared. That uh, low frequency signals are to be passed, high frequencies are to be uh, rejected. So, that is the condition when we apply a carrier frequency of that, that VCO output is like an unmodulated signal. We have to do that phase where phi is 90 degree, it is applied to that multiplier, it produces again the mixture, same as this mixture, sum and difference just the different signal will be demodulated and main thing whenever that VCO is equal to that input signal your uh, detector exhibits high degree of selectivity. The next concept is FM demodulation. So, the same concept similar to this we are applying an FM signal if it is locked the VCO tracks the instantaneous frequency of that input signal. So, here when we coming to that VCO transfer characteristics the main purpose of your PLL works here determines the linearity of the de demodulated output the main 
first concept of your PLL it should falls under the linear system and main thing it will be applied in case of the radar synchronization and communication process so PLL applications will come under these four categories and the one more thing we have to include that concept of FSK is nothing but a frequency shift keying demodulation techniques. Thank you.